It's a little more than 100 miles outside the capital, but several different armed militia gathered despite the heightened security and worries of violence ahead of Wednesday's inauguration. These are the Boogaloo boys, anti-government, fervently pro-guns, and proud to admit they have a certain power because of their weapons. As, a, as an outsider looking in, you've got all these different groups with different affiliations and different allegiances, all tooled up wearing, you know, quite heavy machinery. Um, it, it doesn't look like the, the best sort of foundation for peace. All right, so for us to peacefully protest without any infringement from the police department, when we show up these things armed, they really don't mess with us. If we come out here unarmed, they've shown a history of doing things they shouldn't be doing. Six feet! Six feet! A couple of streets away, we found the Black Panthers circling the state capitol building, which has been sealed off in case of attacks. This militia, equally heavily armed, were keen to impress how persecuted they felt for years. Tell us a little bit about your fears about the far-right extremism in America. I mean, as a, a foreigner looking in, um, that seems to be a, a big issue here. The, the thing about it, I just can't reiterate, as being a black man in America, any type of fear, there's no type of fear that we haven't experienced every single day of our lives. Like, this has literally been our, our reality our entire lives. So right now, this is nothing new. They're not saying anything new to us. The militia appear to have different ideology and sometimes none, and there's a clear rivalry and distrust between them. How, how divided would you say the country yeah, is at the moment? As divided as the government wants us to be. And how divided is that? Okay. Um, we, uh, you, got any, you got a problem? Not necessarily, hopefully not. Tell me what you think the problem is. Ma'am, if I could... Um, if, I mean, we can continue the talks once we get where we're going. We're heading to uh, Eighth Abroad. What is it you're worried about? Just uh, me. Proud Boys are not. Uh, I've yeah, heard that not our kind of team. No, they are definitely not uh, individuals we want to associate with. Virginia's state capital was fenced off and streets shut down. Pro-gun activists descended on Richmond, once the capital of the Confederacy during the U.S. Civil War. They want looser gun laws. Although an annual event, tensions are high ahead of the presidential ceremony, and there were real fears there'd be clashes. And most of these are ardent Trump supporters still arguing they've been cheated and who are going to take some convincing. Safety in America? No problem with this. This is what keeps Americans safe. This is the challenge for the new president, pulling together all these disparate groups and the many militia who are armed, who are feeling suspicious and worried about the future. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Virginia.